Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. Today, looking at the Hope Health Supply masks that we bought on the internet. Not on Amazon, that's right. Let's put it in the clamper and see what happens. I can already tell by looking at just the listing that this is a fake KN95. And if this is the first time you're watching this channel, buckle up, because I'm about to teach you some things. Let's open this up. I actually don't mind the packaging, it's pretty nice. This is a very large, this may be the largest KN95 I've seen. I like hyperbole, so. All right, and let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine, Particulate Filtration Efficiency Machine. If you wanna find out more about what I'm doing here, I'm gonna put a link up there, but we're basically doing the N95 test here because we are in a American medical mask factory, <laughs> and that's what we test here. Um, but it is roughly similar to the KN95 test. So you're in luck. We're gonna hold these guys accountable and see how good their mask is. All right, I, I mentioned that I could tell just by looking at the listing itself that this was not a KN95. How? It's right there. That's not a KN95. Let me show you what I mean. To be an actual KN95, you need three things. You need to say KN95. They did that. You need to say GB2626-2019. <laughs> what is all that stuff? Well, that is the executive standard that the Chinese government uh, is holding you to. So you got to have that and you got to have the manufacturer name. Now they're selling this to you as Hope Health Supply. But if you look on the back, it says manufactured by Zhengzhou Hongyu Medical Commodity Co. So that's not actually the manufacturer name. They have a link here to their, uh, supposedly their, they say that this is our FDA registered, can be found here and the registration for Hope Health Supply is here. So here's Hope Health Supply. This costs, anybody can do this. You don't have to make a product, you don't have to sell it. They're registering as an importer distributor. That's, that's it, that's all they're registering as. So that doesn't do anything. That, the FDA does not look at the products you're importing, you don't look at anything. You're just registering on the FDA's website so that you can say that. And this is actually the company that is making it. That's interesting. It's different than what's on the and that's different than what's on the bag. And by the way, what they're registered for is for a scavenging mask, not for this mask. It's for anesthesiology, which I'm really proud of myself for saying that correctly. When I started the word, I was like, I don't know if you can finish this, man. <laughs> Hope Health Supply is claiming to sell a KN95 mask. We know it's not a KN95 because they're not doing the things that they say that they're supposed to be doing on the actual mask. And so the question is, if they're not doing really simple things like putting the manufacturer name and things like that, the question is like, eh. Can you trust them on all of the other tests? Some of these tests take like 12 hours to do that they're gonna protect you. Then on their website, they're saying, our CAN95 registration on the FDA's website can be found here. When you go here, it's actually not an N95 or protective mask. You can click on this, this product code, it's for a scavenging mask. And now a scavenging mask is something that's used in dentistry. It doesn't look anything like this. And then they, the, manufacturer, the manufacturer they claim to be using, when you look at the bag, is 12 hours away. These two manufacturers are 12 hours away from each other in China. So like, what's going on, guys? All right, that was a good recap. That was okay, I've done better. But does it matter if it protects you, right? Does any of that matter, Lloyd? All the stuff that you're saying, if your PFE machine, your, you keep talking about how many hundreds of thousands of dollars you're spending, does it protect you? A lot of preamble. Okay, close, close, 94.039, 94.039. The breathability was actually really high, 101.38 pascals. So ah, that's really good. The breathability was really good and it was almost right there on the uh, on 95%, but they're not quite meeting it. But there are all these other tests that you have to do. I would almost guarantee, I would bet most of my lab <laughs> that they're not doing the tests. The question is like, uh, why not just stick with someone that's telling you the truth so that you know you can trust them? There are plenty of manufacturers. Powcom is one of them. You can buy their masks on Amazon. You could get them delivered same day in most cities, great masks, great manufacturer, they don't lie to you, 
Uh, they're not going to make outrageous claims like this is FDA registered because it's a KN95. Those aren't FDA registered. All right. I didn't do this. I got so carried away. Uh, you know, this isn't the worst. It's definitely not the best. Welds are pretty centered. Let's do the smell test. Oh, it actually is a little tight on my face, to be honest. It's a pretty strong smell, to be honest. It smells like Chinese polypropylene. Actually, there's something in here. It smells like a recently cleaned hospital floor in China, I'm assuming, because uh, I don't know the chemicals that they use here, and it's like a little bit different. So it smells a little like Chinese plastic. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. I, this, I've been all over the place. It's a little cattywampus. My apologies. Uh, this was an adventure. This was a new one. Hope helps. I think this is a, also a record for the longest video I've ever recorded. So there's that, too. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, this, this adventure. Uh, if you end up buying this mask or not buying it uh, because of this review, you, know, you can give me a like and subscribe if you want to, but I'm not gonna guilt you into it. I'm not one of those types. Instead, I'm just gonna ask that you stick with me. We're dropping a new test every single day at 10 a.m. and I will see you on that next test. <laughs>